Presenting our two national referees in charge for match number 11. First referee is Mr. Patrick Castillo. And our second referee is Mr. Philip Rica Huerta. Presenting the starting lineup for your Savage Spin Doctors. Beginning with their team captain, outside hitter number two, Lorenz Senoron. Middle blocker number three, Shirley Magpayo. Opposite spiker number nine, Renzel Antonio. Outside hitter number 10, Norwell Sanama. Middle blocker number 14, Jason Angeles. Setter number 23, Ray Taneo. And their starting libero is number five, Rico Marmeto. The head coach of the Spin Doctors is Mr. Sammy Akailar. Introducing the starters for your D Navigators, Ilo Ilo. Setter number five, Kim Dayan Dante. Middle blocker number seven, JV Sumagaysay. Opposite spiker number 12, Francis Saura. Outside hitter number 13, Edward Camposano. Middle blocker number 14, Rash Nursidik. Outside hitter number 18, Kent Sabando. And their starting libero is number one, Rick Adao. The head coach of D Navigators is Mr. Boyet Del Moro. And we and here is now a glimpse at the starting lineups for both teams. Wow, we have a nice uh, array of players. And uh, Mamerto is going to be the starting libero. And we shift it to the other side. Rick Ado is going to be the starting libero and some uh, very, very well-known men's team national players are in that lineup as we tell you that there's good news we're all pbl or all volleyball fans the volleyball pbl fans. uaap and spiker strip can now be enjoyed on one sports via high definition catch the games on one sports hd channel 17 only on signal one sports hd is available on all active signal prepaid and postpaid subscribers first set is all set to get underway with this serve Oh boy, first big dig of the match, and we're still playing. Sabando. And that is blocked. Savoj will uh, get their first point via that kill block of Taneo. Now you see the starting lineups of both teams. Coach Boy Del Moro opting to go with a veteran center in Kim yeah. Dante. And uh, again, Edward Camposano will be at the forefront of their offense. Uh, he's also one of the newest players on the floor for the Navigators. Ito matanong kita, Neil. Nagbago ba yung landscape? Dahil dun sa crisscross din, ano? Nagbago ang assembly ng teams yeah. and the strengths and weaknesses we always welcome new teams to the spiker stir because this is also one of the ways to level the playing field i mean uh for the longest time it has been signal hd who has been dominating yeah, the spiker stir but with the entrance of crisscross and with their recent performance they have already introduced themselves the best way that they can yeah. <laughs> so uh even uh, yung iba pa nating teams like the navigator savage they're continuously uh, trying yeah. to recruit top talents from uh, the collegiate ranks. With the boom, Ken Sabando. Maka dumating ang araw, wala ka na sa tabi ko, naglalaro ka na uli. <laughs> Ayaw mo na? Not too sure. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think I put you I put you on the spot there. In the meantime, that is into the net. It's a seesaw battle. Here in the first few points of the first set, we've been exchanging points. A couple of excellent digs from left to right. We've seen a couple of defensive stops as well. 
And uh, in a competition like this, na nine teams lang, tapos single round robin, you need to be able to gather as many wins as you can because uh, um, it's going to be harder for you if you're going to play catch up. Lalo na kung ang schedule mo, ang schedule mo yung malalakas na team sa dulo. Now, if you are up against in the early part of the tournament teams that seem to be mirror images of you, yeah. invest ka na. That one is high up and out. That's out. Yes, that was a way outside. They will not call for a challenge. So the navigators will get another point. Masyadong maaga para mag-challenge. Alam mo yung challenge, kailang prudent ka dyan sa paggamit niya na. So Magay Sai with his serve tries to play it short. Block! Francis Saura continues to impress us from the right pin. Five serving three. And he has all that height, all that power. That's a middle blocker for Tenyana, yung uh, net defense. At saka hindi sa kamay, ha? sa siko tumama yung uh, block na yun. Ang score natin, nakahabol na ng uh, mabilis ang the Navigators after being down early on. That is off the block and out. They could not dig it up. Double block was there for the, the Navigators, but there was no follow-up on the backcourt defense. Good combination play there for Savoja Aesthetics. That was Norwell Sanama from the middle. Coach uh, Akailar is quickly up from his seat. By Dante. Back row, it's on the ground. Kim Sabando. <laughs> Looks like Sabando is the youngest one on the floor for the, the Navigators. And they're really trying to give him all of the confidence that, that they can give. Suddenly, you know, that's a spiker step. You know, veteran, veteran. Pag may bago, halatang halatang may bago, eh, oh. Diba? Nice dig. Down on the ground, and the Navigators find the open space. Francis Saura again from the back court. He has also developed that back row attack here in the spiker serve. Never nyan ginawa uh, when he was in college. It's not the easiest point of attacks, but uh, if you have the height, <laughs> mas madale to get that reach. Less airspace to deal with to begin with. In the meantime, this serve a bullet. Kept in play nonetheless. This is a counter from the other end by Antonio. Antonio going through the double block of the Navigators. Norsidic couldn't close up. Lateral movement was late. So that gave Antonio all the time in the world to hit that cross. And that's right between two defenders. In the meantime, our score is five against seven. Camposano, Edwards shot in play. Battle at the net, won by Savoy. Senorón winning that joust against the Andante, but we also have to commend the efforts of the Libero in Enon as he popped that ball up. Actually, maganda yung laban ng dalawang Libero to. Masisipag para yun. Masisipag para yun to. Hindi madaling mag-spike in front of them. This one is too strong. And we arrive at the technical break. And we're off to our first eight to six. Time we'll have more Spiker Step action coming your way after this. Navigators with the lead, eight to six. the Spikers Serve Open Conference 2024. This is where power meets passion. Now, the Savage Spin Doctors may have had a stressful last game going against the Signal HD Spikers, but after that game, they just had a tune-up game against Perpetual two days ago where all of their stress went away, and head coach Sami Akarlar actually shared that he did not expect Savage to win that tune-up, but it's what they needed to get that boost for today's game. Now, during their first and game of this Open Conference, Sami, na baka three months pang kailangan nila to see 
see their full potential as a team, but after that tune-up, he now thinks it's sooner. Back to you guys. Okay, the veteran coach has stated his view on the matter after that tune-up game. Campos Thank you, Ayana, for that report. For Our current sc score, rather, is Navigators with a slight lead. Here's a nice set, perfectly done! Loren Senoro, and again, uh, being the resident scorer that he is, getting uh, on the board Seven here in the first set. Ganda ng set ni Taneyo, talagang inabut niya doon sa papalo eh. All set to uh, serve will be Charlie Magpayo. Too close, on to Daidante, goes for it. Senoro, and Adao, hello, we have a net flight. And blocked away. Savoj battling hard Off here. Back to back points Lawrence for Lorenz Senoron. He is the team captain of this team. He's also one of the top picks when this We're team was formed. Ang lambot din mag-abot ni Taneo ng bola. Napakahalaga sa setter na maganda yung yeah. pasa sa kanya at yung pasa niya sa kanyang mga lulusob. In the meantime, here comes Magpaya still serving. Close to the net. Ah, nagawa ng para ni Dante. Ad lib there from uh, Kim Dayan Dante. Over, it was an overpass coming from Edward Camposano, but he still found a way to get that through the block. Eto na. Lulusot ko na sa mga ulap ito. Lumipat na. 9 8 ng uh, score. Lamang ang navigators dito sa ating unang yugto. It was a flat ball, no spin whatsoever in that slight attack from Angeles. So point again will go to the, the navigators. So, and the spin. Usually iba yun tunog den. Yun tunog, yun tunog. Kasi pagka flat talaga blog. In the meantime, a break for the Navigators as they take this 11th point. Watch this. The Navigators starting to use that uh, serve as a weapon against the receivers of Savoj Aesthetics. And nothing disappoints coaches more than simple plays that are un, uh, unfielded and uh, are unforced errors. Taneo, in the meantime, that is dug out. JB Sumagaisai will be credited for that single block coverage against the middle of Savoj Aesthetics. May rampa, may rampa pa si JB pagkatapos. <laughs> we saw JB Sumagaisai in a BNS uniform in the off season, but he found his way to the team of the Navigators Iloilo. And in the meantime, that does not work. That is the second service error of the Navigators. Savoj has three on the other hand. Error by Nur Siddiq. 12 to 9 is the tally here. The serve. The set. High up goes JV Sumagaisai. This blast in play. Sabando. Dayandante. Bang! Santos! Ooh, Kim Dayan Dante Sala. recognizing his advantage in that last rally. Every time that the Navigators have two attackers in the front row, he would uh, drag Sumagaisai and the left pin all the way to the left side of the court. That will leave Francis Saura open yeah, my, my from the back row. My mistake, it was Francis Saura. 13 to 9 count here. Dayan Dante with his serve. Taneo. Oh, masyado na magigil. Cargado, masyado. Again, uh, Coach Sami is looking for that wrist action. The power is already there for Sanama, but you have to target uh, yung certain spots sa floor defense ng the Navigators. Makinig tayo. Nandito na yung maliit nila. Nandito ka, nandito ka na. Nandito yan, di ba? Okay? Ito yan. So ngayon, paikot mo siya rito. Para dito na yung maliit. Kasi hayaan mo siya nandito. Nandito nila malaki. Dito. 
Okay, awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch. And you can do so and get more details. 14 to 9 tally here. The Navigators uh, beginning to uh, feel more confident. That's a very slow start. But when they got their motors running, yeah, they were on their way. Coach, uh, Sami was talking about uh, the advantage pagdating sa atake ng Savoj Aesthetics. Yung mga coaches, unang-una tinitingnan nila is uh, the height of the players dun sa front line Attack sa kabilang court. Now. And uh, in this rotation, it is actually Saban who is the shortest. So, uh, Taneo can uh, go for a couple of sets here in the right side for Savoj Aesthetics. But since dalawa nga lang yung attackers on the front line, they can activate that back row attack of Loren Senyoron. So, basa ka ng basa eh, no? Endlessly. And Taneo. And they got that. Taneo with excellent teamwork there. Antonio. Much needed uh, stop for Savoj Aesthetics. It was, again, an ad-lib play uh, from actually, uh, Taneo. Buti na lang the Savoj back row players were ready for the attack. Antonio delivering that one. Taneo serve played short from the right. Bullet. Sabando enjoying his time on the floor as he gives the, the navigators a six-point lead in our first technical timeout. 16 to 10. Short hair, pero gusto ko dati short, eh, long hair, kaso di bagay para sa akin. Sir, or receive? Receive? May receive ba ako eh. Pizza or pasta? Pwede ba both? Monster black or fireball? Monster black, nakaka-down kasi ng kalaban yun. Dancing or singing? Kinakaban ako dyan na. Singing. <laughs> Alam mo, mali ang mga tinatanong niya. Tanongin niyo si Torin at saka si Ayana. Si Torin kanina sa prodrome, sumasayaw eh. <laughs> Nakakahiya pero tanggap na lamang namin. Uh, marunong kami umintindi. High energy, hard side reporting. Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, ano ang kulang ng Savoj? They're behind by five right now, although they have the serve nail. Um, uh, the defense has been loose, especially in the backcourt. So uh, uh, they really have to step up in that aspect. Now there is an early substitution for Coach Sami Ekelars. Caritativo will replace Sanama in that outside hitter position. And Caritativo was the second best option uh, in their last game against the Signal HD Spikers. But now it's uh, Edward Camposano's time to get that monster block against that uh, rolling okay. shot. I thought that he had violated the airspace. It was on their side na pala. Malino naman. This is now a six-point lead for the Navigators. So Magay Sai's attempt goes astray. And it's a five-point affair here in the first. Service error number three for the Navigators, Iloilo. And these are the chances that Savoj has to take. They have a full front line I right agree. now. Yes, yep. yes, yes. Magpayo. Magpayo is also a good option uh, pagdating sa offense. Saura. Yes, that is inside, says the first referee. But this will be the first this challenge the called by Coach Sami Akailar. Dami pa rin sports, ano, bago matapos yung uh, uh, break, just before the Holy Week uh, rest. Of course, the PBA is in Bacolod. Uh, there's UAAP action. May PBL ba kahapon? Yes. Mayroon, ano? They went to Inares Antipolo. Oh. It was a triple header. Oh. <laughs> and of course, uh, Spiker Sturf rolls along. 
Here's the uh, replay. It is inside. It caught the line. That was a good attack from Francis Saura. They're maintaining the six-point lead. That's a point for team navigators. 18 serving 12. Coach uh, Sami actually looking for a momentum breaker, you know, without calling a timeout, so his team can regroup. Saura serve, red hot. Back row, good work. He decided not to go for it. Butas. Finally, Taneo uh, gets the opportunity to set up Magpaya from the middle. It can't be Lorenz Senoron all the time because uh, the blockers are very tall on the side of the navigators. Yeah, yeah. Saka marcado na siya, di ba? And that was well distributed in the meantime. Antonio is replaced by Imperial. Michael Imperial will be serving. Score stands at 18 13, 13 now serving. In the air we go. Flat, but they got the line, got it inside. Luck is on the side of the navigators. Hindi malini sa tama yun, huh? Yeah. It uh, looked like it hit the fingertips uh, of Nur Siddiq. We, we will we'll check Nur Siddiq if his fingertip <laughs> is okay. Pero yun ang advantage ng volleyball. Mas malambot yan, eh. Compared to a basketball, of course. In the meantime, bullet! Playable, sabi ni Sabando. Nilipad. Ah! Double whammy block! This has been the difference for the, the Navigators. Their net defense, again, very solid here in the opening set. Look at the outstretched forearms of the double block of the, the Navigators. No way to go. Yeah. Passport denied. In the meantime, that serve out of control. Edward Camposano setting it offline. And the serve will now belong to Charlie McBio. Four of the points of the spin doctors actually came from the service errors of the, the navigators. And if you're on the side of Coach Samia Kailar, you want to see your players actually earning the points, not waiting for your opponents to commit mistakes. That's a valuable point. In the meantime, that is not handled well by the spin doctors. It crawls on their side in midair, actually. Watch this. Looked like it was on its way outside. Yeah. But they weren't sure. Ah. Nagricochet. In the meantime, here comes the serve. No Sidik. Imperial sets. Oh, yes, sir. You can put him on all sides of the court and. Senoron will still continue to find ways to score against the defenders of the, the, the Navigators. Let's work with the serve right now of Senoron. And that doesn't last very long. Another unforced error on the side of Savoj. That was their fourth service error. So they tie the production of the, the Navigators in that aspect of the game. Pero mas ramdam yun on the side of the spin doctors. Oh, yeah. Uh, because uh, the, the navigators have been tallying points from all of our skill set categories. Event service aces, courtesy of Diane Dante. And we have a timeout. We'll bring in our cameras and our microphones. Hindi lang ba kayo na for error? Hindi na ba? Service pa lang eh. Doon tayo nagkakamali na nagkakamali eh. Yung binibigay natin yung momento sa kalaban. Huwag ganyan. Siguris na dapat kayo maglaro. Ibalik kung bawat tayo natin putus ng putus eh, di ba? Bakit siya'y magkakatabi ron? Mag-uusap kayo. Usap, masaya ang bola, di ba? O taas muna natin ang score. Go! Let's go! Ito yung uh, huling sequence, yung uh, service ace. Sometimes service, servers would usually do that. Isi sik sik niya dun sa dalawang <laughs> receivers uh -huh. to get confusion on the other side of the floor. Mahilo kayo yung dalawa kung sino kukuha ng bola. Yan yung mga gulang nitong laro na ito eh. 
Kim Dayandante serve in play. Nice set. Well done. It's in for Number 21, Namil Mawar, got that to connect and he's uh, quickly replaced. Coach Sammy is really juggling his lineup here, huh? Coach Sammy still looking to find the perfect mix of players on the floor for Savoj Aesthetics because the De Navigators are just two points away from taking first blood. You and the Coach Sammy are correct about the errors being the source of points, actually. In the meantime, there's something clearly offensive. JV Sumagaisai was just lurking in the background. He was letting his other teammates shine. But here in the end of set number one, he also made sure that he, got a, he gets a couple of points. And he brings his team to set point here in the opener. Regalo, but they don't pounce on it quickly. They do this. Oh, but it is declared outside. Sabi ni ke Coach Del Moro. Oh, sige. Sige, kayo masusunod. Pero feeling niya outside. Eh, wala na. Di naman madadala yung challenge sa next set, eh. Bilis din ng palo ni Edward Camposano. Ah, ganda ng quick na yun, eh. Even we had a difficult time to see where that ball landed. That is way outside for Edward Camposano. Unsuccessful challenge for the De Navigators. Savo Jastetic still alive here in our opening frame. Sumisi Papa, Sumisi Papa. You know, Coach Sammy's thinking uh, we may, may not take this set. But uh, let's get some momentum going. Kontin Pawis para sa second set. Serve in play. Easy tap, elevated, block, and this has been one of the assets of this Navigator crew. That is the best defensive line for the Navigators, Camposano, Sumagaysay, and Saura. And they have been impenetrable. In the meantime, our first set drops its curtain, and we'll have the second set ready for you, wherever you will be after this. Napaka mahal na gitarista po yung kinuha namin para tumugtog ng live. Niwala naman kayo sa akin. Ito, set one. Ang daming opportunities. 
Pero ang dami rin pinamigay ng sabots dito. Yeah, uh, narinig naman natin si Coach Samia Kailar all throughout the set. It was loud and clear. Number one, they give a lot of free points to the denavigators. Number two, communication was not there for Savoy's aesthetics. There were a couple of times na nagtitinginan yung receivers or diggers kung sino ba yung kukuha. There were lapses in judgment when it comes to transition plays. But uh, the main difference, again, I would say, is uh, the net defense of the denavigators. They tallied six blocks compared to the single one of Savoy. They read the, the plays so well. And they were able to read the plays well in set number one. Kasi nakontrol nila yung service line. They were challenging the receivers of Savoy's aesthetics. They were forcing them to uh, commit these shank passes. So yung setup ng double block, napaka-organized. So when they get a touch on the ball, ang bilis nung balik on the side of well said, the yeah. spin doctors. I agree. Well organized. Akala nyo, talunan lang ng talunan yan. May sistema din ho yan. Yes. May defensive... Uh, Deploy our strategy and for each game as we prepare you for the second set. Too many errors and ano, nakailangan i-manage ngayon ng Savoj. The first serve will belong to uh, Kim Dayandante. Leading scorer for Savoj is Lorenz Senoron with four. And uh, Saura also has four. That does yes. not cross over for Magpayo. Might be too low, but this is uh, a, a very, very early challenge yeah, 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 yeah. for the, the navigators. Na block touch ba? Ito. Alam mo, one of the advantages ng uh, addition ng challenge in a one, natanggal yung uh, sobrang angal ng mga coaches and players. You know? Second, uh, our understanding of the rules has been uh, underscored as well. But you cannot challenge everything. Huh? Not yeah. everything is challengeable. There are six challengeable yeah. calls. So uh, the rest of the calls of the referee, judgment calls na yun. And usually wala na talagang magagawa about that. But um, based on our replay, there was a block touch, so we will be replaying the point. Good challenge on the side of Savoy's aesthetics. Coincidence, I know, and you're watching the game so intently, you will see even the smallest of mistakes. What's happening? I guess, but sabi sa akin ng mga players, no, the coaches they see everything. Nino natutulog yung mga yun. In the meantime, down the line, but out. The attack went out. Point for the yes, navigators. That is outside, said the first referee. So officially, our score is 1 and 0. Oh. Yes, because the first point was replayed yeah. there. It was a dead ball. Yeah. Cannonball. Quick adjustment there on the side of Lorenz Senoron. He hit that down the line out of bounds. Changed his direction, opted to go for a cross-court angle. And uh, Sumagaysay was not able to square up for that block. Si Taneo, medyo nagpupursyento, no? He wants points so they can get the early lead. That is not going anywhere. It's recycled here. That blast, one hand on it. They... We'll get the point. Down the line, Norwell Sanama. Norwell Sanama will get his uh, first point here in the second set. Two serving one. And uh, Savoj has the early upper hand at 2-1 after that uh, conversion by Sanama. Senor on serve in play. And look at this, Sanama all over the ball. Sanama. Make that back-to-back -back points yeah. for Norwell Sanama. It was also a heavy serve from Lorenz Sanyoron. So he's really trying his best to contribute in all aspects of the game. Nasa the harapan point. siya, nasa yeah. likuran, nasa service line. At yung serve niya, nilalagyan niya ng init para mahirapan yung defense sa kabilap. So pagpasa, battle at the net. Sumagay so side keeps it afloat. They swing it to the other side. And it is out. Off the block, Francis Saura. Francis Saura will get point number five under his name. 
and uh, Ken Sab Sabando will be serving in just a short while. Sabando serve, sharp and true. Sanama, nowhere to go. Francis Saura reading that uh, well. Perfectly tie-in block, look at the swing block. Looks like uh, looked like he was going to guard the down the line, but last minute he shifted the direction of his forearms to cover the cross court angle. Ganda ng uh, in slow mo makita mo yung galaw ng kamay, ano? That is inside. Yes. That is another Saura. kill block for Francis Saura. Saura is doing a little of everything here today. And uh, his transition, I would say, just simplified his responsibilities. Yeah. When you're a middle blocker, kailangan hahabul ka from left to right. Tatalon ka pa sa gitna. Then you will also need to read the combination plays. But when you're an opposite hitter, your your main responsibility is to block the left pin and score. In the meantime, Sumagaisai attacked the regalo. Hit it off the block and it Number flew three, out. Three, we have Diwa seeing action nine, for the first three, time. This is John Diwa for Savoj. We're at 5 3. Into the net with that serve. Ken Sabando, unable to get it across. In terms of block points, the navigators already have tallied uh, eight. And Savoj currently has one. Okay. Three out of the eight blocks of the navigators actually came from uh, Francis Saura. Block. And out of control. That is how you use the blockers the to your That's advantage. Great find there for uh, Mil Bahar, targeting the fingertips of JV Sumagaysay. We have arrived at the point where each side has five points. Looked long, but they hit it. Wow! Camposano with a cannonball. That was just pure power from Edward Camposano. That's his signature type of attack. Clean angle there, finding Senorón on the cross court. And not, nothing to interfere with the uh, attack. Airspace wide and clear, no turbulence at all. I think that'll work. You will get a check ball of Camposano. Better performance we're seeing from Savoj Aesthetics, they're keeping it close with the Denavigators compared to that first set. Kung saan lumayo agad yung Denavigators. Yes, that is correct. How close is close? It's six all. Not hit decisively. Taneo, back row attack. Senoron gets it to buy. The thing about the attacks of Senoron is that ang bilis, ang bilis ng wrist action, ang bilis ng yes. um, tama niya dun sa bola. So it's harder to read. The defenders would actually uh, say na mas mahirap depend sa kanyang mabibilis na palo compared dun sa malalakas. Because sometimes when the hit is strong, pwedeng mabagal eh. But uh, the hits of Senoron have been fast. <laughs> That was a judgment call on Taneo. Uh, he had that good intention in mind. Wala naman sumabay sa kanya from that side of the court. But it just misfired. Yeah. Execution wasn't uh, really there for Taneo. But again, maganda sana. Oh, I think he spent a little too much effort in the fake. And when the final drab of the ball to the other side, he lost a bit of grip there. The tap against the block. That is blocked, but kept very much in play. Still alive and kicking. Diane Dante reverses to Saura. The strike! That is inside. And uh, the, the Navigators will get to the first technical timeout with a one-point lead. Navigators to the lead, eight to seven.
Arena Plus as Texas Sports. Let's bring along Ayana Perles for this report. Thanks so much, Seven Neil. Now, the D Navigators may have won their last game, but they are nowhere near satisfied with how they played. Veteran JB Sumagaisai shared with me his role in the team, and he is very thankful to have been able to experience Coach Oji Mamon's system. Dahil dinala niya yung pickiness and pagka perfectionist ni Coach Oji dito sa D Navigators. Kahit maliit lang yung pagkakamale, he will always voice it out, and his teammates are always open minded and always ready to adjust. So they worked on everything before today's game. Kaya naman for today, ang goal lang nila is to polish everything for Ilo Ilo. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Ayana. And, you know, it's also good to be under other coaches. You learn other systems, other ways of doing things. Combination down the middle by Savoj. I think they need more of that. Regalo! Denied! It's still alive. First long exchange. Saura does not force the issue. And the setup job easily handled battle battle free ball Diane Dante uh oh now it is the longest rally nowhere to go yes, there was a check ball on uh, the middle blocker of Savoj point will go to the the navigators that was a, one of the longest rallies yeah. that we've had so far. And one of the most spirited in terms of reaching for the ball to give it very much in play. It's a 9-7 tally here. Ooh. Oh, the flight, Sanama. Norwell Sanama. Clear skies for Norwell Sanama. Nung first set, nakita natin, he was still trying to get his range of his hits. There were a couple of uh, mistakes, but now, kuang kuwa niya na. That was the perfect contact point. And he just hit that above the blockers of the navigators. Para lumipat siya above the clouds pa nga para makaiwas sa rain clouds and a good counter. That's what you get when you have a convincing approach galing sa middle blocker mo. So, Half of that point should go to Nursi Duik. It was a very convincing fake from uh, Kim Dayan Dante. Wala, naniwala lahat eh, di ba? Yun ang point niya ni. Two-point lead by the Navigators. Camposano. Taneo. Nowhere, nowhere to go! One point in for Kensa Bundle. The navigators are just collecting uh, so many kill blocks in this ball game. This time it was the shortest blocker on the floor, Sabando, getting a defensive stop against Kalayag. Angeles will check back in for Coach Sami Akailar. The navigators are slowly uh, pulling away here in the second. They took the first set at 25-17. In the meantime, the ball is still very much in play. Here comes Taneo with the set. Senoron hits it high. And there's a check ball. You can just see the maturity and decision making every time Senoron goes up for that attack. In yung um, gusto ng mga coaches na, they can still make decisions kahit na nakatalon na sila. In that split second, yeah. ano, yung discarte. Two point game here in the second. Long set. Does not roll over. Ado gets to it. That is alive. Long. It will make it up yet. A for effort, though, for Savoy's aesthetics, but they just That's couldn't uh, get that ball to the other side. It's a three point lead by the navigators of Ilo Ilo. No Siddiq, any serve, all set to come unglued here. Good runner. That punches through. Diwa with his first point of the match off that slide attack. He replaced uh, Magpayo in that position. Now they're getting some dividends from uh, Diwa. Here's Tanayo and his serve. Ryan Dante, Saura, long and out. Attack one too high. Point for Savage. It's 
Tavaj uh, keeping it close. Yes, they are. Here in the midpoint of set number two. Kaya naman nila. They can compete. Correct, correct. Uh -huh. And uh, they can also score off their transition plays and counter attacks. But um, uh, these errors. And it's a rotation yeah. error. Yeah. error. No, it was a. Uh, uh, line fall from uh, uh, the server. Uh, uh, yeah. He stepped on that end line. Thirteen eleven tally here. Sayang ano nakabuelo na sila. This one. No, it's out. Timeout. Savage. Savage wants a timeout. Okay, tapos yung, yung isa dito magbibi. Ha? Tapos yung isa magaganyan, tapos bigla mapasok ng tres. Kailangan meron tayong taktika ng gano'n. Kasi kung simple lang, madali tayong mahuli ng kalaban. Okay? Di ba yung score naman, dikit eh. Kaya natin niyang habulin. Tsaka lang tayo mula sa loob, ha? Tapos walang error sa service. Hanggat maaari mapasok muna yun. Sige, go lang. Go lang. Get seven-day premium access to NBA, PBA, UAAP, PBL, and other leagues and exclusive shows when you download Pilipinas Live, the app. Register now for free. Young uh, voice of experience, the coach Sammy, you know, uh, is trying to instill in this young team of his. There are a lot of possibilities kasi na pwede mangyari once you put that ball over sa service line. You can get a defensive stop. Uh, your opponent can make, uh, I, I mean, can commit an error. Pero pag hindi yan lumampas dun sa net, automatic, oh, wala ka nang laban dun. And that was what Coach Sami was pointing out a while ago. Loren Senoron uh, will make up for his uh, mistake earlier with that back row hit. He's just doing everything yes. for Savoj. Even a mistake. <laughs> Yun lang. <laughs> You know, you, there's also that part in the game. You, you know you're being helpful to the team. Your teammates are going to you. But sometimes a little too much also. So uh, there's some fatigue stepping in in that last serve. Whoa, last serve. Taneo. Yeah, I agree. Dumaplis may challenge ito. But there's a challenge with the call. 1512, but there's a challenge. Sina nag challenge. Yeah. Tong navigators. Well, all of the blockers uh, said that they did not touch the block. I mean, the hit, rather. Pero pwede rin kasing hindi na lang namalayan. Oh, Dumaplis uh, dun uh, sa uh. fingertips. That's a possibility. Nothing to lose. The challenge. It looked like it hit the finger of JV Sumagaysay based on our uh, view from here. Here we go. So officially, there was a no block touch. And we arrive at the 16th technical timeout back in a moment. It's the navigators with the lead 16 to 12. Sabi po sa amin ni Coach na 
hindi madaling kunin yung panalo pag hindi pinaghihirapan. Yung dati po kasi yung hindi ko po, hindi ko po, po naririnig yun. Yung parang naglalaro-laro lang po ako sa, naglalaro lang po ako sa loob ng court. Yun, gano'n. Parang baliwala lang po. Tapos nung narinig ko po yung gano'n, ay, oo nga, no. Kailangan pala talaga maghihirap para sa panalo. Palagi po siyang iniisip pag, ano, pag crucial game. Ayun po yung nagpapalakas sa akin ng loob. Ang ating direktor, si Raul De Ocapo, nagpapakitang gilas, mga kaibigan. May pa-inset-inset pa. Palagay ko nagmeryendo na ito ng pandisal. Kaya maganda yung kanyang diskarte ron. Samantala, Taneo, that's sealed! And you have to avoid the, the block of JV Sumagaysay. And uh, that was straight into the block. You know, see, JB goes into the game. He's not really looking for the points of spikes. Eh. He's looking to yeah. block. And uh, kadalasan ang golden talaga ng middle blocker ay maging magandang decoy ah, for the outside ah, hitters. Exactly. The meantime, the net is still shaken. And the point goes to Savage. Down by five here in the second day. Lost the first, 25-17. And this is actually the perfect chance for Taneo to run a couple of combination plays on their side. Kasi tatlo naman yung attackers pwedeng paikutin in uh, their counter-attack so ah. that they can avoid the blockers of the navigators. Maganda naman yung activity ng plays nila. Bilis nga. Oh, well done. Taneo. Net is shaking. And two straight points now by Saboj. Both from the net infractions of the blockers of the, the navigators. That was an excellent dig from ah, Lawrence ah, Senor. Ah, ah, he was really able to absorb the power of that Camposano hit. Saktong sakto dun sa setter zone. And he, I'm sure that his arms are still throbbing, although hindi masakit yan. Ha? In the meantime, they wasted an opportunity to gain some momentum and they throw away their serve. 19-14. Navigators beginning to make some big steps towards the end of the second. Uh oh, oh! Wow, both teams got unawares there. It was an overpass from Savoja Aesthetics, but it was a one handed receive from Edward Camposano. Ang hirap i control ng bola, one hand lang eh. No matter how skilled you are. In the meantime, Sumagaisai, his serve. Tinaas. Nice cut shot. Here we go again. Oh, malakas talaga po mahalo ito. Salama getting a point of the defender of the navigators. Pedrosa will now check in alongside Imperial as they try to make a late run here in the second frame. They're down by five. And Coach Sami wants... More options pagdating sa atake. That's the Number reason for this double substitution. Number 13, Michael Imperial in. Alam mo kung bakit mabagal ang substitution dito? Para mahabol yung nagsusulat kung tama yung uh, ano eh. Yan lang yun. Di ba? Kaya alam maayos yun. At saka one is to one correspondence ang uh, substitution. Ah, ah, ano ba sabi ng sa Wolves? Ano ba nangyayari sa atin? Hindi naman Pasko, namimigay tayo ng regalo rito. Yeah, they're still struggling on that service line. Taling a total of eight service errors compared to the five of the Navigators. Saura will serve. As the Ringo would say, good serve! In the meantime, that's a solid connection. It's in for Norrell Sanama. Sanama loving that attack. Flyer itong Sanama. Lalo na't pag nalampasan mo yung solid double block ni Nur Siddiq and Camposano, of course you would really um, uh, gain uh, all the confidence in the world. Good Hi. thing. Back, back at Sanet. Tinaas ni Diane Dante. Hello! Hello! Nasira antena. Uwi yan na. Wala na. It's in for Edward Camposano. Uwi yan na. 
Mga tatlong araw bago maayos yan. Di naman, di naman. Well, uh, we're waiting for the antenna to be yeah, set up again. Oh, there is a challenge, challenge on the side of Samoja okay. Aesthetics. Antenna touch. Antenna touch, antenna picks, antenna all of the above. Sapul. <laughs> Alam mo itong sa words, kulang nalang seasoning and playing together, ano? Hindi masamang team ito, ha? May mga players silang magagaling. Ano na lang, trying to get used to playing together. Ano, weakness and strengths ng bawat isa. Mukhang ayos na yung antena. Yung uh, issue na lang, yung challenge. Happy uh, Palm Sunday, everybody. If you're catching us... Uh, uh, through our different platforms on Pam Sunday. Well, here we go. There was uh, no antenna touch. That was a clean hit from Edward Campasano. It hit the tip of the net. Kaya, ito nakakabit yung antenna. That's why natanggal yun. But madali na naman ibalik yan. Alam mo yung ginawa ni Campasano. Yung nangyari doon, yung aftershock ng palo niya, yun ang umalog doon eh. Ang lakas talaga pumalo doon si Campasano, no? Yeah. Para siya si Samson. Pagkupit na, magpagkupit kaya yan. O, oh, tingnan mo. Woo! Series A, Edward Camposano. Impressive outing for Edward Camposano as well. He is one of the newest additions on the side of the Denavigators. Pero nakita naman natin how easy it was for him to gel with the team. Caritatino is back in second stint on the floor. Camposano still serving his team two points away from sealing the deal, closing it up, sewing it all together here in the second. Our referee doing a good job of running the ship here. This is uh, Philip Ricaverta working with Patrick Alan Castillo up there. Well, there. Diane Dante pursues short. Pinilit against the block. <laughs> he wanted uh, to challenge the double block of Savoja Aesthetics. Yun yung mga bahala na types of hits. <laughs> Basta lalakasan at papasok yan sa loob ng double block. Tingnan natin gano'ng katibay ito. Pagka gumiba, hindi matibay. Pag hindi ako nakalusot, ah, matibay. Ah! Too low on the jump serve for Edward Camposano, but they are at set point. Set point. Set point na tayo. They're poised to take a two-set to none advantage against the Boj Aesthetics. They did this against the Philippine Army, but in set number three, the Denavigators relaxed, <laughs> and the Philippine Air Force took that set before they bounced back uh, in the fourth. So they do have to be careful come the third set because that is one of the tendencies of the Denavigators to relax. <laughs> Coach Sammy does not believe in challenging this last point. Well, uh, this team wanted to. Detma. Wala ka na tayo sa kabila. And at the end of two sets, the same score, 25-17. Iloilo also holds a 2-0 set advantage in this match. Hindi ho optical illusion yan. Tama ho yan. 25-17, 25-17. Identical score. But I th I thought, Neil, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, a better fight from Savoj in that second set. 
Yeah, it was an identical set score for Savoj Aesthetic 25-17 in the first. Yun din yung score natin in the second set. And even yung mga numbers, ganun pa din yung nagiging problems ng Savoj Aesthetics. They're really having a hard time getting those serves in. That's why itong uh, the Denavigators, they're having more confidence to actually go for a lot of uh, different uh, styles pagdating sa tempo ng play nila. We've seen a couple of fast ones. But ultimately, it has been the net defense of the Denavigators that has controlled this match. Six kill blocks in set number two. Nung set number one, nakakuha pa ng isa yung spin doctors. But in set number two, wala na silang nakuha doon. Even in the serving category as they gave out eight unforced errors. And uh, Sanama actually caught up with the production of Senoron in set number two. But uh, pagdating sa distribution, mas maganda yung balance ng scoring sheet sa side ng Denavigators. Okay, okay, Leading yeah. scorer is Francis Sara with eight. Norsedic has a quiet seven. Uh -huh. And uh, Sumagaysay, Sabando, Camposano all have five points each. Well, and in other words, the uh, party... Uh Catering is uh, doing well. It's been distributed evenly among all the guests. And in the meantime, we start this uh, third set with the men in black down two sets to love. And uh, the foremost concern in Coach Sammy Akalar's mind is, of course, the fact that they've given away too many points. Yes. Something they need to correct. And that starts, I guess, from one good decision making, two confidence, and three, what? do you have in mind with you what you want to do on the floor each time the ball is passed sometimes a serve pa lang eh, nagkakamali na sila so in the meantime are there new faces on the floor para sa uh, this is actually a new starting six for uh, coach Shamia uh, 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 I was surprised that he did not uh, field in Lawrence Senoran again he has been the best option for Savoy's aesthetics but looks like gusto niya bigyan ng different perspective kaya iuupo muna yung uh, starters from the first and the second set and as for the navigators it is the same starting uh, lineup sometimes pag two sets to none na yung score you would see coaches field in second stringers but uh, it can be a double-edged sword. You don't First want to give uh, that uh, much of an opportunity to the opponent mo para makabawe. So uh, this is a good decision on the side of Coach Boy. And it depends on the team schedule after the game. Kung may lakad sila, di tapusin na natin. And sumagay side, doing sumagay side things. Walang makasagasa sa kanya sa net. He's all over the floor. Tallying four kill blocks. Serve. That is the most number of kill blocks on uh, their side of the court. Francis Saura has three. Nursidic has three. Camposano has Shuri two. And the, even the, uh, the outside the hitter ball. in Sabando was already able to tally one kill block. Early lead by the Navigators, two one to one. Two. Eric Tatina and his serve. They reverse, and that's tons of power. What a sharp cross from Sabando from the right pin. Look at the elevation of this uh, youngster. And he suddenly looks really so young here among the men here, but he wastes his serve. Ken Sabando Napuri. Si Ish nung isang araw sa PBL, sabi niya, ay, ginulo ko. <laughs> Kasi <laughs> four, two or three aces na, biglang ay, ginulo ko, nag-service error. Ish is playing later on. In the meantime, that service long. They really have to find a solution to these service errors. At this point, di bali nang hindi ganun kakargado, basta pumasok. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that they could set up their blocking pattern. Saka mag-ogre well sa confidence nila. Kaya natin ipasok to. In the meantime, playable. Playable. Ay! Short! Nanggigil. Too low for Francis Saura. Sa ilalim kinuha eh. Hindi rin niya nabasa eh. It was there. It was so tempting, but it was so low. 
By the way, later on, the crisscross King Crunchers play Richmark Sports 3B Elite Spikers. And our friend and uh, colleague Ishmael Barosa will be playing later on. I get to criticize the setter. Ha! <laughs> In the meantime, celebration on the part of Sabaj, they get this point. That was a service ace from uh, the, the spin doctors, the courtesy four. of Antonio. I think it's what Coach Sami. When you put that serve in, there is always that chance na magkaroon ng miss reception dun sa side ng uh, the navigators. But Ada will get an a perfect receive on the next Cross one. Alam mo, Libero, bihira ang makita ng two errors in a row, ha? Kasi a-adjust yung libero eh. I guess anybody who's played this game, ano? Feeling mo, ta-targeting ka next time. Uh, adjust ka, adjusting ko ang uh, dig ko. In the meantime, Saura will be serving. Boom, boom, pangalan. Parang pangalan ng hari. On two! Well done! Imperial with his version of a dump ball. It's the same start for Savoj. Even in the first two frames, we can see that they are until the halfway mark. And uh, that's the time where the navigators will set up a couple of kill blocks. Na sunod -sunod. They suddenly and tighten the uh, laces on the net, uh, actually. Here comes a good set. Camposano with a clear view Camposano. of everything. Scores the drop. Ganda nung pasa from uh, the Libero. Adao uh, giving Dan Dante an easy time in setting up the place for the, the navigators. Lumusot, lumusot kay sa, sa bando. Yeah, that was the isolation that we've been looking for. Hindi pwedeng, Agri. hindi gagalaw uh -huh. yung middle blocker ng the navigators. Kailangan mo talagang iba-ibahin every single time. So that slide will be a uh, key. Isayaw mo ng konti yung kalaban. Paiduyan mo. Camposano. This is denied, but kept in play. Adal, Sabando. In flight. Hesitation. The strike. Adal. Can't touch this. Oh! Hindi na. Tancha ng Mayos. Touched before sailing out. Sabado target Sanama for the point. Sabado hitting high and long, winning that long rally for the navigators. Nami natin high flyers dito sa larong ito. And the mantala, some housekeeping has to be done on the floor. Some uh, slick portions. Look at the stat line of uh, Norsidik. Imperial faking the two. <laughs> Even Imperial has a couple of tricks. The mga small nuances ng mga setter yeah, yeah. actually helps uh, uh. in uh, confusing the middle blocker of your opponent. Kanya kanya yan. Mayroon yung kunwari titingin. May kunwari pupunta sa likod. Dami yan. Nuances eh. Little ones. Cut shot. Ooh, Alanganina. Lifting will be called on Kim De Dante. And we arrive at the first technical break. Timeout in set number three. It's Savage with the lead. Eight to seven.
you're still watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2024. This is the match between the Savage Spin Doctors versus the D Navigators Ilo Ilo. Now talking about the Savage Spin Doctors, Noy Pedrosa finally saw action for them. And this is actually the game where he needs to prove himself the most. He sat out in one game because of his admitted in-game lapses and, consist and inconsistency. But Coach Sami wanted to give him his chance today to bring that confidence back. Now Noy mentioned that he wants to get rid of his mindset where his true game only comes out in the middle of the conference, most especially that he does not want to ruin the trust that Coach Sammy gave him in today's game. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Ayanna Perles. Good story. In the meantime, the lead has dissolved. We're tied again at eight. We're tied up. Sabando uh, really working wonders for Coach Boy in this game. There are double figures uh, so uh, the navigators, Meron na, no? I believe so. We'll check with our oh, like. attack went out. Point for Savon. And we're gonna check on the numbers of Sabando, who has been quite prolific here. I'm serving eight. Well. Serving we're still tallying the sa -sa official sa -sa numbers. Sa -sa -sa -da -sa -da -sa <laughs> Uh oh, Saura nearly got hit in the face. Free ball forthcoming. The safest thing to do. That's yes, that is out. outside. That was a perfect combination play set up by Imperial. Mihalung Gigil lang on the side of Sanama. But they were able to drag JV Subagaysay away from the So it was just a single block coverage on the side of the Denavigators, but too much power on that hit. Sabando. Uh, excellent to better work. Nila Nai task of the rest of, of the team. Excellent dig for that time by number eight, Mark Chumbinko. Here we go. The serve in play. Camposano playing smart. Nice dolphin swim. That was a costly That's error a on the side of the Denavigators. It was a chance ball for them, but it was JV Sumagaysay who got that first ball. And kadalasan pag chance ball, you, you really have to let the Liberos get that uh, um, first pass. Malapit na <laughs> ang uh, double digit scorers for the Denavigators. Saura and Sabando both have nine points. While Camposano and Nursidik both have uh, seven. You know, you see, Sabando felt already like he was double in digits. So that could. Oh, the attempt to go southpaw misfires there. And uh, for the Savoj Spin Doctors, it is now uh, Sanama with a nine-point performance, Ilo followed Sumagay by the eight of Senorod. And we've got uh, Sumagay Sai back in the service row. Imperial sets. Nice dig up that time by Sabando, and there's a miss. The attack went now. Point for Savard. Taneo for the and... Number nine out. Number Abdel Bahar returned return to the ball game. Number 13 out. Number 21. Spin doctors are holding Bahar on to a two-point lead. Baka nahanap na ni coach Sami yung tamang mix yeah, on the I floor. Agree. Taneo, spend some time on the bench. Pag-aralan mo yung nakikita mo. Let's see if it uh, provides some dividends. That's a miss. But they make do from Nurse Dick. Padao keeping it alive. Camposano across. Wild and out. A lot of errors are being committed on the side of the Denavigators. And they, and they want to talk uh, right now, Neil. Let's try to listen in. Oh. 
Quick and short one-on-one -on -one heart to heart conversations with Mark Pingris and Gila's legends tackling their life stories on and off the court. Puso to Puso, exclusive sa Pilipinas Live app. Download the app and register now for free. The, the Navigators have committed six unforced errors here in set number three compared to the two of the Savo Spin Doctors. Na ni Coach Sammy yung solution dun sa mga surface yeah, errors they, in the first two frames. And they lead currently by three, which is huge in the context of what has happened. First two sets owned by the Navigators with similar counts, 25-17, 25-17. That crawls over the net. Adao keeping it in play. Camposano gently digs it over. Ah, too hot to handle. They are Dante out of position. The spin doctors are now on a roll here in the third frame. They're down by two sets, pero. Mukang nagsisi mo na pa lang tayo. Oh, that's their biggest lead at 14-10. Taneo. Punch through. Kept in play. Cut. Diane Dante has to stretch it. Diao. Adao makes it a set. Camposano fires away. It's still alive. Taneo with a big dig. Camposano. Red hot shot. They put a stop to the bleeding. With that uh, Camposano hit, single block coverage on the side of the Spin Doctors. It was a good rebound, though. Yeah. We have some new faces on the floor for the Navigators. It's Apolinario and Dablo. Dablo. Number 12 out. Number 6, J.M. Apolinario in. Here's John Apolinario. Taneo. Ah, cross. Excellently done. Morel Sanama. Sanama will get to the double digit mark. Ahead of everybody. Ahead of everybody after that attack. Now you can see that the spin doctors are controlling the Correct. transition plays. And they lead by four, a repeat of their biggest lead. Adao, Sabando, Camposano, easily handled, neutralized. But that is airtight. Instant point for the substitution of Coach Boy. W getting a kill block against Caritativo. Edward Camposano served just above the net. Three-point game here in the third. That will be on the blockers, and we arrive at the second technical timeout of the third set, 16-12. It's Savage with the lead, 16-12. Going to Savali is uh, my fellow Kababayan, uh, Rango Nabilia. This is uh, from Tawi Tawi. Dahil madami siyang na-inspire ng kabataan sa amin. Isa na ako doon, nakapagtapos ako dito sa Metro Manila. Nag-grab ako ng maraming opportunities. Kaya laking tulong niya rin kasi na-inspire niya yung mga ibang bata, lalo na mga ngayong generation, na unti-unti rin pumupunta sa Manila. Of course, uh, down the road in 2025, we look forward to the World Men's FIVB. Why, Neil Flores will sleep inside the bedroom, I can tell. 
32 countries wow. competing in the World Championship. That will be massive uh, for the Philippines and for men's volleyball as well. And uh, it will be a fan's fiesta. 70 to 12. Uh, you know, it's never easy to close a match, huh? And some of the uh, pressure pinching this Navigators team, actually. And another miss. It's 18 to 12. That is a six-point lead for the Spin Doctors. As I said, this has been the tendency of the De Navigators. Medyo mas relaxed this set compared to the first two sets. Were in, they were, they were very intense. Yes, good point. They were on fire. Sabando, no. Adao is there. The reverse set. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Camposano will not give up. So Magaisai will move to the front line. Let's see if he can collect a couple of kill blocks so that they can uh, trim down the lead of the spin doctors. Oh, no, hindi umiigot yung rotation eh, no? Kaya nga walang blocking masyado. Kinuha. Taneo. Punch top. So, oh, nobody back row. Savage with a point of a scramble. Which boy will uh, call for a timeout. Lumala yun ng Savage. Only yeah. six points away from getting a set win I against the De Navigators. Awesome lights worth viewing, guaranteed with signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. This cash out. Visit uh, www.signal.tv slash switch rather for more details. Score right now is 1913. Camposano. That is going to go through. That will be the second point of W. That's it for the double sub of uh, Coach Boy. They did get two points yeah. of that double substitution, but now uh, they would need uh, Francis Saura back in the front row, although he has been quiet. I mean, he started off uh, really hot in set number one. And a timeout requested because they'll try to think of some way to seal the deal here and close this third. Very short message from Goshami. He was just uh, telling Caritativo to adjust. Depende ko anong receive mo kuha nila. Okay. Dun uh, magde-decide yung setter ko anong type of set yung ibibigay sa left side or sa right side. And the Caritativa has come alive here in set number one. He only scored one point in set number one. He did not score in set number two. But here in set number three, he has scored six points. And that is the lead of the Savoj Spin Doctors. Who are in full command of this third set after losing the first two. Caritativa will serve. Saura. Alive. It is alive. Believe me, it is alive. It is. Oh! They took their eyes off the ball. 
Ganda sana na pabagal nila yung bola from the spin doctors, but they lost sight yeah. kung saan napunta yung bola. Uh, parang yung expression ni JB, asan ba? 21-14. Picatiba keeping it in play. Middle attack! And nowhere to go! Blocking coming alive for the spin doctors here in set number three. This is a convincing eight-point lead for Savoj. No Lauren Senoron. No problem for Coach Samia Kailar because he has found a spark plug in Caritativo. Brian Dante to Sara. That manages to pierce the defense. It's been a while since we last uh, saw an attack from Francis Saura. Ngayon siya kailangan more than ever. Seven-point lead for Savoj. Nawala yung momentum ng mga scorers eh. Nitong uh, ilo-ilo. Uh-oh. Kampusano might... That will be an infraction called on Antonio. Yeah, it's called against Antonio. Pero kumapit sa net si Campuzano. Watch this. Oh, yun. Iniwasan din niya. That was uh, for safety purposes. Yeah. 22-16, Sabors. 23-16, Sabors. Imperial. Pointing uh, that uh, it was a good play from their end. Bakit kaya ni Yellow Card? Too happy. Too much happiness. <laughs> Well, uh, this tries to, the game tries to discourage, discourage taunting. Kasi. Yes. And the first referee was just reminding Imperial that you have to turn Yellow around. You can go bananas in whatever which way you yeah. want, but never show it to your opponent, sabi ni referee Patrick Alan Castillo, who loves running a very tight ship, very disciplined. Yan eh. And look at this. Navigator still alive and kicking, although Savoj is two points away from sawing this all together. Uh, when you taunt your opponent, sometimes mas nabubuhayan sila. So you have to find a way to end this the fastest way possible. You only need uh, two clean kills to win set number three. And extend the match! And we are at set point for Savoj. Set point for Savage. Serving for the set is Renzel Antonio. And Renzel Antonio will serve Adao. Ryan Dante, Saura. High up in the air, Imperial. Blocked. Block point for Block party still there for the, the Navigators. They need all the points that they can get. Uh, they are trailing by six points. Pero manini gorad na si Coach Sami. He will ice the server of the the navigators, or at least he will try to ice the server in this timeout. Ikaw makaganda ng pika, long siya. Kaya mo muna siya magano. Kaya mo to. Kuni mo na ang bola sa taas, okay? Okay, tapos pumangit ang bola. Meron may, ka dito. Kasi long sila, tsaka dito. Meron ka rin dito, ha? Pero pasahan muna. Importante, pasa. Okay? Ngayon, may pumapalo sa atin. Ano ba gagawin? Cover. Okay? Isa na lang tayo, guys. Isa na lang. Go. Saka papalo. Hey! Papalo. Sigurado ka, ha? Hey! 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 Oh, di naipit ang pagtatanong niyo ng best player, ano ha? Walang napuntahan. Senyasan kayo ng senyasan ng best player. Walang nangyari sa inyong lahat. <laughs> Sabi na sa Bodge, banigas muna kayo. May sipa ito sa Bodge eh. Alam mo, hindi masamang team ito ha. Pagka mag-gel pa ng konti ito. Francis Sala to serve 14 Navigators. 
Naku, mukhang out yan, ha? Di ba, eh? Ito na. And that's it. Pansit. We will go into a fourth set. And I'm not surprised. Great fight by yeah. the Savoj team. They were able to adjust uh, yeah, everything here in set number three. Ganda ng decision ni Coach Sami to actually five. change the starting three. unit. It could have uh, worked either way. And uh, now we will be heading into a set number four. First two sets went the way of the uh, navigators of uh, Iloilo, but the third showed us a more determined Savoj team, and they put their act together, and they took that third set. Savoj uh, stepped up big time, especially in the tax department. It was noticeable now when they were able to be consistent on the service line. That was also the time that they were able to make uh, their run as they established their own version of a lead in yeah, set correct. number three. They did uh, lack in block points, pero mas madami naman silang attacks compared sa the navigators. And this time, the tables really turned because the unforced error categories, uh, Savoj only had uh, three points to give to the denavigators. Pero itong uh, denavigators, they had seven. So, ito, anybody's game na ito. Yeah. Biglang, uh, what looked like to be a walk through and a runaway by the navigators has suddenly been transformed into quite a duel. Alamo, you don't want to lose too many games in the pursuit of the top four positions given the complexity and the makeup of the other teams. Huh? Daming changes ng yari nga eh. And Again, we only have nine teams currently. Uh, there are three undefeated teams so far in the competition. Signal is at 3 0. Crisscross. Is at 2 0, and even itong the navigators, this is just their second assignment of the league. So they are looking to get win number two. And as for Savoj, they're in the middle of the standings one uh, yeah. win and one loss. You don't want to go to the two losses uh, part. Because uh, uh. may bottleneck na dun eh, and uh, you always want to beat the teams that are higher in terms of ranking. Here we go, fourth set. <laughs> Referee Philip and his uh, counterpart, they will confer. The navigators is actually claiming that there was a center line fault on Caritativo dahil pumasok na siya. But uh, we have to check kung ano yung naunang motion. Kung bumagsak ba muna yung bola bago tumawid si Caritativo dun sa side ng the navigators or bago pa bumagsak yung bola, nasa kabilang side na siya. I think we can look at it. Wala naman siya. Well, the point will go to Savoj. So the ball was already out of bounds before Caritativo uh, went over. So that will be the first point for the spin doctors. And again, the momentum is on their side. Coach Shami decided to go with the same six that he went with in uh, set number three. Caritativo, Adao. Dayan Dante. Alamo, no, me pago na rin si Dayan Dante. He's not as smooth as he was in the first two sets. Eh. And even the receives of the navigators, kanina kasi sakto sa center uh, zone. Uh, eh. But uh, in the past few 
um, sequences and even in the tail end of set number three, medyo mahabul na rin si Diane Dante. Tama ka, nagbago ang simoy ng hakit. Yung momentum, yung apoy nandito sa kabilang panig, nasa sa balls. Now, you play this game, Neil, and sometimes I'm looking at the body language of the navigators. They don't know what hit them. They have no idea what's happening to them. They need their leaders right now. That's just frustration on the side of the, the navigators. Anong tawag? Back row player? Overreaching violation called uh. on... The spin doctors, the Andante was still trying to set that ball. Nasa side pa daw ng court ng the navigator. So they interfered with uh, that last rally. So we're tied it too. Nice stop. Gigi Diwa gets support. Very deceptive move by Diva. Watch it. But na lang may hang time. It helps <laughs> middle blockers pag meron silang hang time. Lalo na pag medyo mataas yung set. Yeah. Hang time is really, as uh, this is alive, hang time is how long it takes before you drop to the floor and energy or gravity takes you back. Ball In the meantime, that shot now. is out. Sabodge by Sabodge. two. For serving two. You, you were asking for energy from Savage. They have it right now. Not surprised there with how they moved in set number three. Yeah. Ang na shrug off na nila lahat ng errors nila uh, in the first two sets. You were saying? And uh, this time they get a service oh. ace. It looked like it was on the way out, but the ace was there for the taking. Savage with a three point Five. lead. And Dante will set this ball up to Camposano. He gets checked by the defenders. Hala, short! Intimidation was definitely there on the side of Caritativo. He saw three blockers on the other side of the net, wanted to go for a soft touch. Good dig. Battle at the net, Lumusot. Point will go to Savoj. Establishing an early three point lead. Imperial winning that joust against Nur Siddiq. 6 3. Akalai mo nag ik umi kutang mundo, no? The, the navigators need more energy. I ah. feel like they're very quiet on the floor. No first two sets, ah. nangita natin. Ah. Nag-enjoy sila. They're running around the court. They're pumping each other up. Eh, ngayon. Ba? Bakit lumalaban ito? Ba't lamang ngayon ito dito? 4-6 ang bilang natin. Camposano. Na-take away din yung laro ni Camposano eh. Na-check din siya eh. He could get away with everything. Oh, that's too long. Check wall. Yeah. Very caritativo. With the check. Still a three-point lead for Seven, the spin seven, doctors. Yung actually yung subs ang bumuhay sa sabonche, yeah. no? Yan! And uh, oh the, the navigators God. need more of that because uh, um, they really need to put a stop to the energy and the momentum Five, that's the seven. spin yeah. doctors. They're getting overwhelmed by... Uh, the movements of the spin doctors who suddenly have a confidence temperature that is so so high and in this case they do and their combinations that were non-existent in the first two sets are right here and they have the lead as we arrive at the technical break it's a watch with the lead eight to five
You're still watching the Spikers Turf Open Conference 2024. This is where power meets passion. Now, in the huddle of the D Navigators, head coach Boyet Del Moro emphasized one thing, and that is to celebrate. It's something that Savage has that they don't. Bang sila, and they are feeling themselves. Kaya umaangat performance nila. Meanwhile, for Ilo Ilo, they are letting the heaviness get to them. Kaya dumadami ang errors nila. So let's see if they will be able to hype themselves up to claim this game. Back to you guys. Thank you, Yana Perlis. And suddenly it's been um, an uh, anybody's game scenario. All of a sudden, with the energy, Michael as Neil Billy Flores Young. pointed Surrey. out so correctly, Savage. which is so evident on the side of Savage, although they have too much energy on that Savage. one, they punch it out. Point for G Navigators. I was about to say that Caritativo is now at the double digit mark, uh, 10 points. He has uh, three points here in this. Uh, frame. Diandante serving play off the blockers. Set by Diandante. And the brush against the blockers. Yes, there was a check ball on uh, Caritativo. And sometimes when you're in the lead, mas okay pa na umamin na lang dun sa mga calls para, na yun. Para umandar na. Kesa magtagal pa dun sa challenge. Nag, parang, parang nagsayang na energy bigla eh, no? and suddenly Over yep overreach point for Savage nine serving seven one handed set from Imperial will get that overreaching violation on the side of the Denavigators wow talk of the tension of this match huh Eight, serving nine. That is a 12th service error of Savoj. That the Navigators have eight in this game. There's a new face on the floor for the Navigators. is Tomata. Arvin will serve. That's a tough job, you know. But they need the... <laughs> a service ace. Some of had a service ace, but <laughs> malamig pa off the bench. Ten serving eight. Wala din masadot talaga substitution uh, on know, the side of know, coach uh, uh, boy. Eh. Coaches know this better, but I'm not personally. I'm not a fan of it. Eh. But that, that's their option. They can do that. Kasi yan lamig, di ba? Oi, muntik na yun. Ah, cannonball from Saura. It's good for Francis. Tight ball Sola. game here in the fourth frame. And this is the type of match that we've been waiting to see. Yeah, it's like boxing. Nice. Ito. Yeah, we've had a couple of, actually a lot of three-set matches already here in the yeah. Spikers okay, turf. But dun sa mga teams na na magkakadikit dun sa team rankings, yun yung mga exciting panorin eh. Yes. Double. Oh, a dump. 3D. Diwa playing well coming off the bench. Watch this. Double jump play. Just went for that simple push. One point is one point is one point. Camposano jinks it over. Lumipad. <laughs> Lumi Pod and it's off the head of the blocker. Francis Saura. Francis Saura reintroducing himself to everybody that I may have been quiet in the past set. But I am still here and I am here to score for the Navigators. And Saura will be serving right now. One point game here in the fourth. Oh, Diwa had to jump up for this. Uh-oh, it's tied. The Navigators gets the point. We're tied. Here's what happened. Double block there from uh, the, the Navigators. They knew that the set was about to go to the left pin, so lahat sila, yung tatlong blockers, sumiksik na dun sa side na yun. Bullet line shot from Niwa. Short slide is money for the spin doctors. 
what they said from Imperial. He has been the game changer alongside uh, Caritativo. Yes. And we have the lead back in the hands of the Spin Doctors by one. Ooh. What a hit from Edward Camposano. Cargado, Sarado. Watch this, huh? Look at the follow through. Full swing, you know? Full swing, that was the wheelhouse perfect. Eh? And he serves. Tall, 12 all. Alam mo, Neil, ito yung time ng game. Hindi ka pwedeng manood lang ng bola. You have to go for everything. And you can't expect the attackers to convert immediately. Hindi naman yun yun laging nangyayari. So, every time that there's an attacker up in front, pag mag-swing na yan for the attack, kailangan pumunta ka na dun sa likuran niya so that you can get the support. Caritativo! With his own version of the rampa. And uh, he's just enjoying right now. He knows that he has that hot hand. The trick with the rampa is the twist of the head. <laughs> walk away, do not look at the referee, walk straight into the back row. If we've learned anything from Madi Madayag, yes. Oh, alive, but out of reach. <laughs> Substitution More substitutions Davis, will be made on the side of the navigator Santos will be checking in for the first time to replace Norsi Dick. Gone are the days of taunting, I tell you. Discartia na lang talaga. Uh oh. Ah, wala na puntahan. So it coming. Talking about the middle blocker of Savoge. 15 serving 13. Grabe recovery ng Savoge dito, ha? Dayan Dante. Off the blocker, this is... There will be net infraction called on... Angeles. 14 serving 15. Justin Santos will be serving. Oh, rocket! And as Tomata, who was sent in for serving duties, suddenly uncorks a hot one. Blockers were deceived and brought into a wrong angle. Tied at 15. Estomata scored 12 points in their game against the Philippine Air Force. Actually, she was the starter for all of the sets. But in this game, it was uh, Sabando. Imperial has to get this next point para makaikot sila. And <laughs> oh boy, the tension. 16 15 is a count. We will have Savoj in the lead. Wala nang iba si ano lang, Coach Sam talaga. Ever since, kumbaga yun nga, hanggang sa nagkalayo, hanggang sa bumalik ulit. Kumbaga, yun nga yung sinasabi na, pag tinadhana, is tinadhana. I love you always, Coach, and thank you for always supporting me, no matter what happened. And lag ka mag-iingat and more blessings to come at pahabain pa ni Lord ang buhay mo. I love you, Coach Sam.
Hindi nga maglalaro, pero sikat naman, ano ha? Oh! Unforced errors. Now coming in on the side of the De Navigators. Yung timing ng errors ng Navigators, medyo alanganin at this point because of the ball game. Because they're thinking of that two-set lead that they no longer have. But then in the meantime, nanggigigil itong Sabots to settle the deal right away. They give away another service point. Diane Dante, and his serve, Imperial. Great shot! Caritativo again, this time from the right pin. Taas ng efficiency ni Caritativo in the last uh, set hanggang ngayon. They are looking to extend this one to a fifth and deciding set. Adao, push set. Skidding to the floor. Nowhere to go. Sara seals it. Monster block. One and one. It's just a one point ball game. But there's a challenge. An antenna touch challenge. Alam mo, nag-enjoy bigla itong sa Bodge. Eh. Pati yung supporters nila, nabuhayan eh, no? Ay, ito, tingnan natin. Layo. Yeah, that was a good block from uh, Francis Saura. The score will be 17, serving 18. Yeah. Tense moments inside the Paco Arena. Must win for the Savoy Spin Doctors. But if you're on the side of Coach Sami, hindi rin pwedeng sobrang gigil ka. Because sometimes when you're too eager to close the set out, uh, that's the time that you usually make mistakes. Capitativo with 13. Six in the each in the last two. What height! Sano will get blocked by the defense of Savoj. Watch this. Ah, okay. Oh, oh. He, he hit below the ball. He was looking at the blockers and not making eye contact with the ball. 19-17 here. Angeles. Out of reach. 19-18. Anybody set here? It will boil down to uh, the small details in execution, decision making on the side of the setters. Kung kanino nila ibibigay yung bola, decision making also on the side of the attackers. Kung uh, anong angulo yung pipili nila. But uh, right now, kailangan yung mga receive at depensa ng bawat isa ay perfecto. Perfecto. <laughs> oh, slide runner, floater on target. Balik na si Taneo at si Amil Bahar. But the subs have delivered. Huh? Yeah. In a very large way. It's not just the numbers. Yeah. You were re repeating that, Nile. Sabi mo, Coach Sammy was looking for a combination that will bring their game to life. Eh. At tagal, naganap muna sa poultry. <laughs> Anong tama para sa omelet? Here we go, high up off the block. And on. Playable, up, whistle. Yes, there was oh. a net touch. Now Saboj is uh, pulling away here in the fourth. Actually poised to take the set, but let's listen into the timeout of the, the Navigators first. <laughs> Hey 
Siyempre, ha? Kapitan mo yung kapitan mo. Go! Magandang balita para sa lahat ng volleyball fans, ang PVL, UAAP, Spiker Sturf ay mapapanood na sa One Sports via High Definition. Uh, panoorin ng mga laro sa One Sports HD Channel 17, only on Signal. One Sports HD is available on all active Signal prepaid and postpaid subscriber accounts. Hello, and we hope you're enjoying this game on a Sunday. That Pierces the defense, the double block, unable to withstand the heat. It's now 21 to 19. If uh, the, the navigators want to erase the lead of Savoj, kailangan kapitan nila yung net defense nila because that has been their main edge against the spin doctors. Diane Dante forced to ad lib. It's still alive. Shumbingo gets to it. Camposano denied entry. That is blocked away. Two straight points by the Navigators. The set is not yet over, says no. Francis Saura. Edward Camposano has been checked multiple times by the block of the spin doctors. Coach Sami Akrilar wants to huddle up. Dito si ano, Diwa, ha? Mag-fake ka, pero short lang. Aren't short. Tapos ikaw, nandito ka, di ba ikaw? Ikaw, ikaw ang mag-tipress. Kasi medyo malilig sila sa harapan, eh. Tapos porsyento lang na yung isa. Hindi na ba? Nag-discarte ako, kailangan magandang pasa. May pumapalo sa atin, dapat may coverage. At lahat ng spiker, isipin nyo na sa inyo binigay ang bola para pag binigay, hindi kayo magugulat. Okay. Hey, one team. Watch. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Volleyball basics, you know? Volleyball basics in timeout now. 19 points already for Francis Saura. Parang is the ATM machine. ATM machine of this team, huh? Almost matching his performance. It is going to tie. We are tied as that serve floats in. That is the 20th point of Francis Saura. And look at the way this sails down. Perfectly done. Yeah, that's going to be big for the, the Navigators. They will now put pressure on the receivers of Savoj. Uh oh! As I said, that, that is... Mukha siyang simple, pero iba yung impact pag nalalapagan ka ng bola na ganun in a crucial junction of the stage. So for the spin doctors, uh, they just need to be able to pop that ball up for Imperial because Imperial's decision-making has been uh, on point. Three straight points. And it's still alive. They were hoping for a four touches call. No, it won't happen. That does not cross. And look at this. Navigators get the scoring run going. Four straight. Small details of execution. Ganda ng intention, but uh, that was an unforced error on the side of Savoj. Now it's the, the Navigators up by two. Good set, but playable. They push each other around. They will toss it over. Chance to attack. Yes! Norwell Sanama with an emphatic kill from the left pin. It's time for heroes now. It's time for heroes on both ends, and you know that when you're in a set, set like this, it's the defensive plays that will matter. It's not the offense, it's the defense. As we always say, defense wins championships. Oh, we arrive at match point by the oddest of ways. They've recovered for, uh, from the first two sets, the unforced errors from the service line, but uh, 
Uh, that would uh, really be costly because that will put the navigators up by two, and this will be their first uh, match point. Camposana serves short, high up, close to the net, and they save one match point. Caritativo, Caritativo again. Getting past the defense of the Navigators. Manini Gorado, si Coach Boy, he will try to ice the server of the Spit Doctors. Okay, ganito. Back to basic. Huwag lang magano, huwag lang mataranta. Deceive lang, set ng maayos, patay, tas cover lang. Ayun ang basic lang, ha? Why don't we pass, Prea? Why don't we pass, ha? Hey, Nabi! Go! Prea, why don't we pass, ha? Saura putting some order into that timeout, making it uh, crystal clear to all the teammates. Samogaisai also chipping in his uh, two centavos uh, worth. I'm sure it is more valuable than just that. And it is match point still, one match point already saved by the Spin Doctors. There are four options for the Andante. You can go uh, to Edward Camposano. You can go to your best scorer in Francis Saura. But there's also Santos and Estomata from the left. And we are done. And we are done. What a battle. Saboj losing out in the end when it was important for them to score the critical points. Costly error. Babalikan talaga natin yung service error that gave uh, the navigators confidence in uh, the last few points. But uh, we have to commend the spin doctors. Yeah. Kasi kinapitan talaga nila. Caritativo had a wonderful game. He had a lot of production. He was very busy. But ultimately, it was the veterans in the navigators, Iloilo, that carved out that uh, set win. And they were trailing noong set number four. But just in time, Francis Saura was the hero for the navigators. We'll wrap this up with our best player interview and take a look at the numbers. 25 to 17, 18 to 25, and 25 to 23. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand by for our next match. It's between the Crisscross and Rich Mark Sports.
You're still watching the Spiker Surf Open Conference 2024, and that concludes our first game for today's doubleheader. D Navigators Iloilo going against the Savage Spin Doctors. And syempre, we have here the best player of the game from the D Navigators Iloilo. Magkahit po kami. Yes. <laughs> Francis Saura is here. 20 points, 5 blocks, 14 attacks, and 1 ace. Congratulations, thank Francis. You, thank you. Now, of course, Francis, you guys fell short. It was a four-set game. You guys fell short sa third set. Ano ba yung nangyari? What what went wrong and how did you guys pick yourselves up? Um, yung yari ng third set, medyo nag, um, nag-relax kami, um, uh, masyadong nagkumpiyansa. So yung, uh, yung opponent namin, parang doon sila nakakuha ng um, lakas sa, dahil sa parang di na kami nag-iingay unlike nung first and second set. Tapos ayun, yun yung nangyari sa amin sa third set. Um, uh, pi, uh, alam, parang alam na namin na di namin makukuha pero kumukuha, kumukuha na lang kami ng momentum sa third set para sa fourth set. Now, Francis, alam ko yung goal ninyo for today's game is to polish your system, polish the way you play. So, siguro pagkatapos ng game na to, ano yung assessment mo about the DNAP leaders? Uh, siguro yung assessment about sa team namin is uh, pagayusin lang namin uh, yung mga... mga pagkakamari namin ngayon um, tulad ng ano um, tulad ng nag- naging kumpiyansa kami kahit hindi pa tapos yung laban so um, ayun uh, after nito uh, bukas magte-training kami um, ayun uh, pag-usapan namin about sa polishing namin ayun uh, binabati ko pala sila mama uh, mama Belinda friends uh, kuya Jay kuya Bel tita tita Hani tita Teltel Sai Sai Marlo uh, Marie Claire sa Buhangin and then sila Wendel Leila Shama um, Katerin Recto and Marcel. Ayan. Hi guys. At Tita Hana. Tabing, Tita Tabing. Thank you so much, Francis, and congratulations thank once you, again. You. Back to you, 7 Neil. Hinagip na na. Hinagip na niya ang buong pamilya niya. Tino, tinuro niya isa-isa eh. Walang, walang namintis doon. Pero what a courage just come back by Savage. But just in the end, they lost a little steam yeah. there. Yeah. Francis Saura again coming up big with 20 points. Aside from the attack points and the impressive block point production, uh, he also tallied six excellent digs uh, okay. throughout his career. Halos never siyang dumedepensa talaga or one rotation lang as a middle blocker. But he displayed that he is also a versatile player. He is uh, showing everybody that he will be the top scorer in this season for the Denavigators Iloilo. Again, in the end, it was still the blocking of the Denavigators that helped them win in set number four and ultimately this match. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice trip home, Neil Flores and Ayana Perlas. Thank you for joining joining us for this first game in the win, of course, by the Navigators of Ilo Ilo. Coming up next, we'll have Coach Ronnie Magsanok join us and Doreen Zoy Baguio for Criss Cross, the King Crunchers up against the Rich Mark Sports, 3B Elite Spikers, Tongue Twister, ang haba ng pangalan, mabubulon ako, pero mag enjoy ako.